This is question 11 in the 2022 A2 Pure Maths exam from SIA. Uh, that's from Monday the 6th of June, so let's take a wee look then at what we're being asked. So the curves of two functions are shown in figure 5 below. We have this function here and we have this function here, g of x and h of x. The graphs of the function intersect at the points a and b. So here's a down here, I think that's 0, 0 probably. And then here, this one's kind of quite close to 1. It says point a is at the origin, point b is an x coordinate close to 1. Um, and then looks at the part one to see what we're asked. It says, use newton robson method once with x0 equal to 1 to find a better approximation for the x-coordinate of b. Give your answer correct to three decimal places. If we are trying to work out where two lines cross each other, we need to put the two things equal to each other. So that's our first step here. Uh, and we're going to put those two equations equal to each other. And then we'll try and work from there. So let's see. Our function is, I think it's root 3x to the power of a half. And I'm letting that equal to a half x squared plus x to the power of 5. Uh, I'm taking everything then to the one side. So it's root 3x to the power of a half minus a half x squared minus x to the power of 5 equals 0. And I'm going to let that equal then to f of x. Um, we need then to differentiate this for newton robson obviously. So let's be careful with this. I'm going to take away 1 from the power. And I'm going to multiply then by the old power. So that's then becoming root 3 over 2. Uh, differentiating this is okay. 2 times minus a half. So it just gives me minus x. And this is easy as well. Minus 5x to the power of 4. And then my newton robson formula x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 all over f dash of x0. So let's substitute in the values and we're told we're taking x0 equal to 1. So it's going to be 1 take away and I'm then kind of substituting this in here. So it's, let me see so you can make sure you can see everything you need here. 1 minus, so this is f of x0 which is this one here. So it's going to be root 3 upon 1 to the power of a half minus half of 1 squared minus 1 all to the power of 5. Then on the bottom it's root 3 over 2, 1 to the power. So that's minus a half there actually, isn't it? Is that a wee mistake I have from earlier? Sorry about that. Then minus 1 minus 5 upon 1 to the power of 4. Substitute all that into your calculator and you get 1.045. That's an answer then to three decimal places, which is what we're asked for in the question. Find the area enclosed between these two curves using the approximation you have found in 1. So the approximation we've found in 1 is this value here. And so that's going to be our limit then of integration. And we need to try and work it out from there. And also we've subtracted those two curves. So it's this here then that I'm going to be integrating. Um, so this question is asking me to do the following. It's asked me to integrate between quite an awkward number 1.045 and then the other one's zero. And my function, as you know, is root three x to the power of a half minus a half x squared minus x to the power of five um, all dx. So let's integrate that and see how we go. I'm adding one to the power. So it's x to the three over two. And I divide by 3 over 2, so that's multiplying by 2 over 3, so it gives me 2 root 3 over 3. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, so that's going to be minus a sixth x cubed. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, is minus a sixth x to the power of 6, and that's between 1.0 four, five, and zero. Now the zero's handy enough. Uh, we sub in the zero, you're just gonna get a zero, but you're just gonna have to calculate it right here and t sub all this in. So you're putting this, changing all, every x here for a 1.045. And if you do it in the calculator, you get 0.826, and that's 
square units. 